It is perhaps explained best by this diagram. On the top left, I have got my voltage, sinusoid. I've got a current that has got almost perfect displacement factor. You will see that the current fundamental is actually almost imperfect in phase. So my um, displacement factor is near 1. That is really good. But because of these very sharp edges, my distortion factor is quite poor. So power factor will be less than 1. I'm trying to achieve a power factor of 1 so that 100% of my power is real and is delivered to the load. On this one, I've got two sinusoids. Right? You will see that the voltage is a sinusoid. The current is also a sinusoid. So there's hardly any distortion between them. Okay? So you've got a distortion factor of 1, but they're phase shifted massively from each other. So you've got a poor displacement factor. And again, therefore, power factor is less than 1. Then on this one, this is the one that is closest to what you will see in a uh, power electronic load, a uh, power supply, or a peak rectified uh, 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 appliance, whereby you have got a sinusoidal voltage, but you've got this peaky current. You will see that the peak of this is not quite in phase with that, so there is little bit of uh, displacement factor, but the shape is very distortive, and you've got a lot of, the, you've got a big distortion factor. So, you've got both um, a displacement factor is smaller than 1 and a distortion factor is smaller than 1 and therefore you, lead, you end up with a poor power factor. Finally, in this one, you have got a sinusoidal voltage, you have got a sinusoidal current, they are in phase with each other. This is what you get if you just stick a resistor across a load and that has got perfect distortion factor and perfect displacement factor and if you don't have a resistor, your power factor correction circuitry will need to force the current to look like this from that. And that is the whole point of power factor correction.